It's the last show. Here we are, Los Angeles, the world capital of rape and dick breath. <laughs> The fuck has been going on out here? <laughs> Keeps getting worse, but it's just what you think can't get worse. They got Charlie Rose today. <laughs> it's gonna be a quiet morning on the news tomorrow. <laughs> Charlie Rose, who's next? Captain Kangaroo. <laughs> Every. Body is raping like hot cakes. I, for one, am starting to get worried. You know, I've been in show business 30 years. I had no idea how much danger I was in. It's really some scary shit. I gotta tell you, Harvey Weinstein's probably the first person that I ever looked at a photograph of and was like, yeah, he rapes. <laughs> I'm not sure this motherfucker has a choice. <laughs> not a handsome man. Not, a lot of meat and extra skin on his face. <laughs> yeah, he's ugly. You know the sad part is, he's done so well in life, he probably doesn't know he's ugly. You know, when you're good looking, everybody will tell you, oh, you look wonderful, you're so great looking. But when you're ugly, you gotta figure that shit out for yourself. <laughs> it's a lot of putting clues together, who it is. Why am I not getting in the club? I got all the right shit on. <laughs> Brad Pitt doing that shit, he wouldn't have heard a peep. <laughs> the girl would just come back down like, I got the part. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yet, and yet, it is important that I acknowledge, ladies, you are absolutely right. There you go. And you gotta all be mindful of that, guys, because uh, this could happen to any of us. It could happen to me. I can see that. I can see myself showing up. Hi, I'm here for my 3 a.m. with Mr. Weinstein. <laughs> hey, Harvey, I got your text. I'm here to talk about the script. <laughs> Seems like it's gonna be hard to read and candlelight, but I guess I could try. Yeah. <laughs> Sound like a fucking nightmare. Could you imagine that shit? Could you imagine if you was in a business meeting and a motherfucker pulled their dick out? In the middle of the meeting, I'd be like, yo! Yo, my man, this is the most unprofessional shit I've ever seen in all my days. Just let me finish, Dave Chappelle. I'll put you in all three Lord of the Rings. <laughs> Hurry up, nigga. I have other meetings to do. <laughs> I have a 4.30 a.m. at Brett Ratner's house. And, uh... <laughs> I believe it's wardrobe city. I mean, it is really bad out here, isn't it? Kevin Spacey's out here grabbing men by the pussy. <laughs> I didn't even know that was possible. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> you got the guy from Star Trek, the next generation. That's who he, uh, that's who he got. Last time, he didn't sound like he was more than that, but. That's who, that's who set it off. He's 14 years old. 
and Kevin Spacey cost him at a party, which I got to say, by the way, for the record. I've been to a lot of parties in my day. Never been to a good one that had 14-year-old boys in it. <laughs> Not even when I was 13, you know what I mean? Who wants to kick with a bunch of Hubba Bubba chewing niggas like, mm, you having a good time, nigga? Yeah. <laughs> 